Marina, a 37-year-old teacher living in the city, started her daily commute to work by navigating busy streets to get to the metro station. She had become accustomed over the previous few weeks to the homeless man who had been sleeping in the same spot every day. Their daily encounters developed into friendly exchanges of smiles despite the man's seeming silence, which led Marina to believe he might be deaf. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. One morning, though, he broke his silence and gestured for Marina to approach him. Marina, startled, responded as she always did, but was met with spoken words for the first time. Seeing that winter was coming, he provided her an extra blanket for the next morning. Knowing his situation, Marina reassured him that she would pick it up the next day. Marina forgot the promised blanket since she had to grade assignments late at night, which made her late. She recognized her mistake as she hurried to the metro station, but there was nothing she could do about it. As Marina got closer to the homeless man's typical location, she saw something different, a big backpack next to him. His expression brightened at the sight of her, looking forward to the promised blanket. Marina apologized deeply for forgetting to bring the blanket and vowed to do it the next day before rushing to catch her train. Guilt gnawed at her conscience as she sat aboard, thinking about the homeless guy and his disappointment and maybe suffering in the freezing weather. Marina was thinking about the homeless man and her forgotten blanket pledge throughout her lunch break. It might seem insignificant, but she knew how important it was to someone who was living on the streets. Observing Marina's distracted manner, a co-worker asked whether everything was well. She heard Marina's story about the event with the homeless guy and her failure to keep her promise and she felt worried about Marina. While praising Marina's empathy, her co-worker cautioned her about approaching the destitute. While it might be pleasant to help them, there are hazards involved as well. A recent news story about a kind-hearted person who was robbed after aiding a homeless person shows this. People may resort to drastic methods out of desperation. The warning story made Marina's eyes bulge, but she didn't think her homeless buddy would be a threat. Their grins seemed to communicate mutual trust and friendliness on a daily basis. When her associate left, Marina considered the advice but finally dismissed it, certain that what she was doing was okay. Determined to atone, she was going to bring the blanket right after work so the homeless man wouldn't have to spend another chilly night without it. Marina ran home after class, grabbing a heavy blanket and putting it in a paper bag. She went determinedly to where the homeless man was sitting on the ground and discovered him still there. She held out the bag and called to him. The homeless guy took the bag with gratitude. Marina was surprised by his unexpected enthusiasm. It warmed her heart, though, to see his happiness as he wrapped the blanket about himself. Satisfied with her gesture, Marina began to walk away, but the homeless guy grabbed her arm and stopped her. The homeless man's hand tightened around Marina's arm, sending a shudder down her spine. There was little comfort in the lonely streets. There would be no one to help her if crisis came. Was there any truth to her colleague's warning? Mustering her confidence, Marina concentrated on the man's movements, which were telling her to stay still. Marina was taken aback when he hurried to fetch a rucksack from where he had been standing. The homeless guy offered Marina the backpack, but Marina declined. Marina said she was happy to help him and that she had everything she needed but there was a touch of approach in his reply, which made Marina take the bag without her will. The luggage was very heavy, and Marina had to lug it home after her exhausting day. She placed it in the hallway and decided to examine its contents at a later time. The neglected bag, now submerged in a puddle of water, disturbed Marina's morning ritual. Not having the opportunity to give it a careful look, she decided it was nothing and drove off to work. When Marina went to ask the homeless guy what was in the bag, she saw that everything was left undisturbed except for the well-folded blanket she had given him. His abrupt withdrawal sparked suspicions, leading Marina to wonder if the bag had anything to do with his abduction. Marina decided to solve the riddle and took the day off. When she finally got home, she carefully opened the bag and was shocked to see what was inside. Shaken and unsure, Marina drew back and pushed the bag aside. She struggled to decide what to do, wondering if this would be deemed an emergency by the authorities. Still, she had to get help immediately, so she called 911. Marina described the circumstances surrounding the man who was homeless and his surprising gift. When the police arrived, Marina pointed the backpack to them and confessed that she had been too afraid to open it 
and look inside before handling it. To protect it, the authorities used a trained dog. The cops examined the bag on Marina's balcony with wary care, their faces growing serious as they saw what was inside. Marina's anxiety increased when the police chief was called to their station. Telling her to wait outside the door, Marina waited nervously for news. Tension increased as more police officers arrived, headed by the chief. Marina gave a thorough account of the homeless man's habits and locations during the interview. The homeless man continued to elude the police as they searched the area around the metro station. But ultimately, after a lot of searching, they found him. His answer caught everyone off guard. Inside the bag was a frozen stuffed animal, although one with a lot of historical significance. It was allegedly taken from a museum, the preserved remnants of a vanished species. The homeless guy admitted to being involved in the theft and gave an explanation for why he couldn't sell the relic and decided to hide it under the bridge, where the cold kept it in perfect condition, along with other oddities. Marina's innocence was upheld by the resolution and the relic was quickly given back to the museum. Nevertheless, the vagrant had to pay for his misdeeds and ended up behind bars. Marina couldn't help but feel bad about calling the police before first speaking with the homeless man. However, he comforted her, thanking her for the food and cover he would have while he was in prison. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.